I'm Claudio Dente. And I'm Craig Lafferty. And we're from Dentex Safety Specialists. We're going to be explaining the Porter Count quantitative fit testing technique. Uh, a lot of people have not seen this before, and we want to share this information with you. So today we're going to talk about the TSI Porta Count Machine. What the Porta Count Machine actually does is it takes a measurement of the particles inside the mask. What we're trying to test here is making sure that there are no particles that actually enter inside the mask. If you have a good seal, what it means is that all of those particles are going to be filtered out by the filter and you have a great fit for your mask. Once you've conducted the testing, it ensures that you have the right size mask that fits your face to ensure that you have an airtight seal. That's the purpose of quantitative fit testing. So next up, the TSI Port Account Adapter. This is proprietary for Dentec. We actually manufacture this at our facility in Lenexa, Kansas, which is pretty cool. Thumbs up on that. With our 400 series NX mask, it's NIOSH certified with both P100 filters and N95 filters. You'll notice that all of our cartridges and filters will adapt onto our 100 series, 300 series, or 400 series comfort air and uh, masks, but the NX is only certified in the P100 orientation or the N95 orientation. So once you have your um, appropriate filter on, you want to connect on the adapter. This hose will just slide into the mask. It's a quick and easy quarter turn. And then you can put on the complementary cartridge for the other side, hook up your hose for the port account, and you're ready to begin testing. So one of the biggest challenges over the last two years is supply chain. We've all heard this. When the pandemic first started, we really found it difficult to get a consistent and uh, enough quantity supply of disposable respirators. They all come from overseas by a large part. With Dentec, because we manufacture all of our half masks, cartridges, and filters in Lenox, Kansas with a 100% North American based supply chain, it means that we were able to keep people protected. And because of the supply challenges, we quickly uh, created an innovation, which we've had for many years and introduced it to the marketplace is our N95 filter assembly. This housing, this plastic housing, allows us to mount our N95 filter that we also make in Lenexa, Kansas from US uh, raw materials. We can attach it to any one of our half mass or full face pieces and we create a, an N95 reusable solution. It's more comfortable, it, re it reduces cost by an enormous amount and the environmental savings is even greater. So one of the cool things about the Port Account Pro Plus is that it has the ability to fit test both N95s and P100s. With the supply chain challenges uh, that we just talked about with disposable respirators, one of the big uh, issues with fit testing uh, N95 disposable is that you actually have to punch a hole through the material in order to be able to conduct your fit test. That renders the mask unusable afterwards. Big benefit with our product is that you can simply attach the N95 filter to the mask. You can conduct your fit test and then the employee can be issued the appropriate PPE immediately after the fit testing has been successfully completed. So far less waste, uh, obviously a lot more sustainable and certainly reduces a lot of cost. These things are still fairly expensive. And so if you're just using one for fit testing purposes and throwing it in the trash, that, those costs add up quickly. We're gonna explain very quickly the different exercises that you're supposed to conduct when you're doing quantitative fit testing. Understand folks that have a goatee, and you're not to have any facial hair when wearing any type of respiratory protection. But for the purpose of this exercise, I'm gonna put the mask on and I can show you quickly the different exercises. So here's the series of exercises that you need to conduct while performing a quantitative fit test. For minute one, just normal breathing. Minute two is deep breathing. Minute three will be turning your head from side to side and breathing normally the entire time. Minute four, looking up and looking down, again while breathing normally. Minute five is actually talking. So we're all familiar with the rainbow passage. That's a common one, but you do want to have a minute of talking. One, two, three, 
four. Minute six is bending over at the waist and standing up, again, breathing normally. And then last but not least, another minute of normal breathing. So that's a quick overview on the exercises that you need to conduct while going through a quantitative fit test. If you do have any questions on quantitative fit testing or qualitative fit testing, please feel free to reach out to Dentech Safety at www.dentechsafety.com. We'd be happy to connect you with one of our safety specialists and answer any questions that you may have.